Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. We brought you the story of a daughter who dies suddenly and her mom discovers a letter in her room that brings tears to her eyes. Teenagers often write letters to their future selves. Some do it as a personal choice, while others are pushed by their schools and teachers to do it as an assignment. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button icon below to ensure you never miss an interesting story. Taylor Smith from Tennessee did write a letter to her future self as well. Her letter was a usual letter in which she was telling herself to attend college, travel the world, and always believe in God. She also wrote about a TV show that she'd hoped she'd be watching as a 22-year-old. Taylor wrote on the outside of the letter that it should only be open on the 12th of April, 2023. Unfortunately, Taylor died due to sudden pneumonia and related complications just after a few months of writing that letter. After the sudden death of Taylor, her mother found a secret letter in her room. She was shocked by its content. The death of Taylor was a huge loss for Tim and Mary Ellen Smith. The worst thing any parent can experience is the loss of a child. It took Taylor's parents a while before they were ready to enter into her room and sort her things out. In the beginning, it was so hard for the family to enter her room, but when they were finally ready, they found the letter that was written by Taylor years ago. Her mother stated that she understands the fact that she cannot bring back her life or resurrect her physically, but she's thankful that she found the letter. She said it was a message from beyond. She was so inspired by the letter that she posted her story on Facebook for people across the world to read. This is what the letter contained. Dear Taylor, how's life like? It's pretty simple at the moment. I'm 10 years into your past. I know it's late for you, but here it is early as I'm writing this letter at this time. So you've graduated high school. Congratulations, are we in college yet? If not, I know we have a pretty good reason for that. And don't forget that Alana turns 11 today. It's her first birthday already in my time, but I didn't go to her birthday party as I was on my first mission trip in Cranks, Kentucky. I came back just six days ago. So how's your relationship with God? Have you read the Bible? Have you worshiped and prayed? Did you serve the Lord well? If not, then get up right now and do it. I don't care what we're doing right now, but do it. He was tortured, mocked, beaten, and crucified for you. A man who never sinned, who never did any wrong to anyone or you. Did you go to any mission trips recently? Did you travel outside the country? Have you traveled by plane yet? Is Doctor Who still running? If not, where did they end? Go watch some Doctor Who if you haven't already. However, you also need to complete reading these words of wisdom. By the way, do you own a house yet? What is our major if we're college. In my time, I wish to become a lawyer. Did you go to Dollywood recently? In my time, Wild Eagle is their newest attraction and it's fun. I also want to sell my iPad and purchase an iPad mini. Make sure that your kids know that we're older than a tablet. I've attached a drawing of a tablet so you can show them. That's all I guess. But don't forget that 10 years have passed since now. Things have happened, both good and bad. But remember, that's the way life is and you need to carry on with it. Truly, Taylor Smith. Taylor's mother posted the letter on Facebook that inspired a lot of people, especially in the first few days. It got more than 179,000 shares. About 799 people also posted comments. Taylor's parents know that their daughter will not come back to life anymore, but the letter has made them feel closer to her. Her father was glad that Taylor shared an amazing relationship with God. It was that relationship that ensured him that she was in paradise. Her mother said that her heart broke reading certain parts of the letter like she wanted to attend college and be a lawyer. Taylor's life was short and she wasn't able to fulfill most of her dreams. That's it for today. What's your opinion on Taylor and her parents? Let us know down in the comment section. Like this video and share it with your friends if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more wonderful stories coming your way on a regular basis. See you in the next video!